we got two in the basket uh i'll weigh them for you guys and the it'll be in this video it'll just be in the next clip but we're on to them right now i'm using cut up bluegill uh, some stuff you can get at Walmart, them shad, whatever you want to call them. You got two Zepco reels, one's at 888, one's at 808. Uh, the 808's to the left, the 888, the new one's to the right. You can get at Walmart, you can get the reel, and then you can get the, I got a Berkeley, uh, I think it's called the Big Game Rod or whatever. It's a 30 pound rod, 30 pound reel, uh, both of them's 30 pounds. And yes, I got two hands, guys, to bother you with. So I'm going to get in front of the camera here in a minute, guys. Let me grab a worm. Uh, you guys can just sit there and check her out, do what you got to do around the house, listen, watch. Please subscribe, guys. I'm trying to make this interesting and bringing something different to the table. I know a lot of people is doing the fishing, but this is a big part of my life. I love fishing. So, um, just out here again, hitting it. Um, it's about getting ready to be darker, probably in another hour or two. <clears throat> been out here for about less than 45 minutes guys and i've already got two so they're, we're on to them uh maybe a little slow for a little bit but let me grab that what i need out of the back of my uh suv and i'll be right back we'll get to fishing let me check this one on the right here in a minute so i'll come back and do that see me good but uh i'm gonna check this rod right here this is the 888 zepco love this reel let me show you guys that's the 888 and like i thought nothing on the hook so let me grab that bait Just been using this guys from walmart you can get the bloody kind too it looks injured it's just whole bait fish uh premium brand brined whatever you want to call that and like i said before guys i ain't no expert you know i ain't no expert i just love uh, to do this and i find different ways to do stuff some of it i don't even know what's called so Just being honest with you guys, I uh, love to fish. It's one of the things that I've always loved to do. It's so peaceful and uh, it's something to get your uh, mind right and think about things by yourself. Sometimes that can be bad. <laughs> so all I'm doing is hooking her through the back just like this. Just like that guys, I got me a little sinker on there. About probably 10 inches eight inches away something like that now you want to make sure that you got your little barb sticking out so you can snag their lip uh, you don't want any weird stuff like that on there as a piece of clover and that's all i do guys you throw her back out there right now same spot they were biting earlier so i'll show you those fish here in a minute hear more than one splash guys uh, might as well reel it back in because your bait came off if you hear one splash you're good your bait's still on there that's one way I've learned if you hear like splash and then another splash might as well reel it in and rebate because you lost your bait I'm gonna recheck this one over here for you guys and then I'll show you those two catfish I caught here in a minute Hopefully we'll get one while we're recording. There was people out here earlier uh, 
it would have been such a bother that it would be so loud, it'd be pointless. Well, I'll turn her back on guys when I get a bite. Uh, I'll show you those fish in the next video. Actually, I'll just show you to you right now. We'll show it in the next video because uh, I'm going to weigh them for you guys and that's what I'll put in the next clip. See y'all later. Welcome back guys. Uh, made it home and uh, got some big catfish tonight. Pretty good size. I mean they're not too impressive but uh, they definitely put up a pretty good fight and I'm impressed. Uh, this is a pretty good size one right here. I mean it's almost two boot lengths. Uh, this one right here. I already killed these just a second ago. I already filleted one. Uh, caught three of them tonight. Uh, was out there for like 30 minutes. Then I had to come home do some stuff. It obviously got dark on us. Just using a uh, just a regular degler. Uh, I think it's Rapella. Something I can't remember what brand exactly. I think it's Rapella. Too much catfish, but I like to use it for my garden and stuff. And I use some of it for bait. So none of it goes to waste, guys. Just want to show you all uh, what we caught tonight. Check me out on the next video. We'll be night fishing here in a little bit. Welcome back to Down to Earth Outdoors, y'all. Uh, just wanted to put this in my video, too. Uh, this isn't anything about outdoors, and I love seeing wildlife. There's three, uh, no, looks like two baby foxes and maybe a mom and daddy. I'll zoom up for you guys here. See how close we can get to him. One started to lay down, the mama did seeing what's going on they're letting me get pretty close I'm probably uh, not even oh, 100 feet if that they're starting to work their way back in the woods right now but I'll leave them alone let her stay out here but I wanted to put this short video in guys uh, hope y'all like the content Anything outdoors, y'all. Please subscribe. Down to Earth Outdoors. Welcome back to Down to Earth Outdoors, guys. Uh, fishing in my dad's pond again. Uh, this is what we've been catching. Just, uh, they're definitely breeding in here. Small, uh, largemouth bass. I'm going to put my rods back in the water. Uh, maybe catch some on video with you guys uh i'm gonna let this play uh my son and my dad's driving in their uh, little blazer around the yard and stuff so there may be some background noise but that's okay uh hopefully uh, you guys can see me catch some fish i'm gonna put this one back Jig with a weight, uh, pan fish hook, whatever you want to call it, just a little, uh pinch weight look at your local Walmart and a two inch bobber that's all we're using on this one uh, I ain't got it set very deep as y'all can tell using the 808 Zepco uh, bought this several years ago and that's there ain't nothing special to this rod uh, 
but I like it. It's a good little rod. It is a Zepco, and it hasn't messed up on me any, so keep using it. Gill. Save this little girl for bait. I'm gonna go grab my uh, strainer out of my car. I'll pause this one. Uh, you guys can see it in the next clip. This is the best catfish bait you can ever get right here. Welcome back to Down to Earth Outdoors, y'all. Fishing in my dad's pond again. Uh, on this one, this is an 808 Zepco. Uh, nothing special about it. It's a Walmart special. Got a two inch bobber, uh, little pinch weight, little crappie panfish hook. Got a little night crawler on there. Uh, less is more in this thing. Uh, like if you guys put a whole worm on that little hook, uh, they're most likely gonna steal your bait before they actually get hooked. And if you just keep enough worm right there on the edge, right where that barb is, you're most likely to catch them and hook them more. Gonna you know, give you guys that little tip, uh, especially uh, your little fishing areas, not this pond, uh, this pond specifically, because it's just a good pond to fish in because it don't it don't get fished very much, and we threw plenty of fish in. Me and my brothers, we used to throw a lot of fish in. They're breeding like crazy out here, so you can catch them pretty good. I just figured this would be a good spot to show you guys some of the fish, give you guys some tips. Uh, best fishing area, like let's say if we was at my local uh, lake, it's Wren Lake, uh, it's in Illinois, by the Big Muddy River, Southern Illinois. So what you guys want to look for when you're fishing, let's say uh, there, there wasn't very much uh, vegetation and not a lot of trees and stumps, but there was some, that's where you want to fish. Uh, where there's any kind of stuff laying in the water, fish like to hide in the little holes especially little pan fish and bait fish. Uh, they like to be close to the bank, uh, but when the water goes down, that's a good tip to have. When the water goes down, they're gonna be a lot deeper just because that's where their hiding holes are and you can probably most likely see them when the water goes down. You can see you know, where fish, are plenty of spots for fish to hide in, under trees, under law, any, anything like that. Uh, let's get into it guys and catch some fish. I've got one bluegill, I got her in the live net over here. Just using the night crawlers, you can get at any gas station, any Walmart. Um, I do use wax worm stuff like that. That's not what I'm using today. Uh, you also will be seeing me use this rod right here. That's my Abu Garcia. Uh, I got two of these. They were on sale at Walmart. That's why I picked them up. I love them. Uh, I ain't had a problem with them. I've always used them in like dirty ponds and stuff like that. They clean up nice. Just make sure you keep them well oiled. That's the most important thing with a lot of things, uh, especially if you're in salt water and stuff. That's a whole another ball. You're gonna have to have gaskets, special gaskets for your, you know, your reels and stuff, so salt water won't get in there and corrode everything. But for just fresh water, uh, these are good rods, uh, good reels. I don't have nothing complain uh, complain about it. Uh, just a six foot, six inch rod, a lot of flex in it. Uh, it's real fun to reel in fish with a rod like this. Uh, I use Lunker Hunt Bass Lures. This is one of the frogs. Uh, his little legs and everything. They all float. All the Lunker Hunts uh, that I have float except the little uh, spinners. You guys uh, need to check them out. Lunker Hunt. I'm sure you can get them at LunkerHunt.com or uh, at your local Walmart. Let's get into it guys. I'm not going to bass fish right now so we're going to lay her down gently. Pick up the 808 Zepco. Uh, I do have a crappie, uh, 13 foot crappie rod here, what, or pole, panfish pole, whatever you want to call it, guys. Uh, let's get into it.
stuff like this on your hook, guys. Let me show you. If you're new at fishing and stuff, and don't throw that back out there, guys. Take take the time to get that off, because the fish is going to be like, what the? You know, they're not going to want to bite that thing. Get that off there. Get you a nice little worm with the, right there by the barb of the hook. Catch them all day. Let me show you guys another good little tip while well, I got the camera rolling here. I'm hoping this is going to focus in for you guys. So instead of just sticking it on all the way through to the center of the worm, take it and just kind of lace it on there push it out like that push it in again through the center slide it out push it in slide it out and uh, i have better hookup ratio when i do that and i uh, wanted to show you guys that tip Good one right there. And if you guys haven't, uh, please subscribe to Down to Earth Outdoors. Uh, help me out. I'm just like you guys. Just trying to get some friends. Uh, drop a comment. I got a cool video you guys can look back at. Uh, actually caught a largemouth bass with a blackbird in his throat. Pulled it out because he was trying to choke, uh, you know, burp it up, whatever you want to call it. So I took some pliers and pulled it out. And that fish's belly, it just went all the way down just like that. And I thought that was just the craziest thing. You could tell it was starting to break it down some, but you can see a lot of bones in there. And I don't think, it, I don't think that fish was gonna be uh, Drop a comment if you ever experienced that. I just want to know. I've never heard of a largemouth bass eating a blackbird before. Drop a comment, guys, if you've seen that before. Let's get back to it. Little bluegill. 
That's a pretty one there. She's got her color, so that's a pretty old one. Pretty fish there, guys. It's a bluegill. Throw her in the live net so we don't catch her again. Got another one here from earlier. There's two. Caught two uh, small largemouth bass earlier, little babies. Threw them back. So we got the hook. I had to rehook her a little bit, but we'll be all right. Let's see if we can get her off a piece of worm here. Sun's getting ready to go down here in a little bit, so. I stole my bait. Yep, clean as a whistle.
Well, we got a bait stiller on our hands here, guys. We're gonna get her though. Probably a little bluegill. We still got our worm though. Right through the eye, put her in the live net. Woo! Woo! She a little squirmy. Got me off guard there. Try uh, taking the jig off of this, putting a night crawler on, and slinging her in a little faster here for you guys. Like I said, this is just a 13 foot pole with a jig and a worm. I said I was going to use that, guys. I want to get a little further out to be nice for a boat. Oh, got to throw a night crawler on it. Running the gun here. All right. Let's try this again, boys and girls.
out here. I'm gonna throw a bass. Uh, I'm gonna throw a couple times on my bass pole here for you guys. Again, using the Lunker Hunt Abu Garcia reel. Abu gets that. Abu Garcia ride, baby. About to have one again, guys. I'll cut this video off here in a minute, and uh, next time you guys see me, we'll be uh, night fishing for catfish here in a little bit. So stay tuned for that. Uh, sorry if I'm boring you guys. I'm just trying to do something a little different and just showing you guys me fishing. Uh, let you guys fill me out. in my dad's pond guys uh you scream my name let me show you guys something we got some fox over here coming up on us there's two of them right over there baby foxes been living in the den over here by the pond dad's riding my boy around on the mower and uh that's why he was screaming uh, two foxes over here we're gonna continue fishing though guys uh, I'm gonna spin this back around, maybe a little closer. I'm gonna zoom it back out for you guys a little bit. I will keep it zoomed in just a little bit. Hope you guys can see a little bit more action right here. So let's get into it. videos too guys not in this clip but here in the future we're going to be doing some 
frog digging, baby. And stay tuned, guys. Uh, it's getting ready to be the end of May. And this old boy's gonna be uh, sticking his hands in some dirty, deep holes. We're in Lake Illinois, guys. Good fishing out there. Uh, we're gonna be hogging, so stay tuned for that one. Please subscribe and hit that bell. On the real end, I lost one and on the real end, got this largemouth bass again, little baby, but we're gonna throw her back. I guess we'll probably most likely catch her again, but sorry if I'm zoomed up on you guys. I forgot about it being on zoom. Uh, there you go, throwing her back. Could have been a little less, more soft throw, but that's okay. Still got the worm though, guys. bluegill right there guys that's a big in there them's good eating bluegills right there let me zoom that out for you guys i'm sorry if it's zoomed in there we go taking her out of her mouth putting her in the live net four and I, I think there was three largemouth bass we caught small ones maybe we'll hook a big one same worm
be a grass bass. Took my worm. Dang it. Another good sized bluegill, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Size of my hand there. Let's get her gently out of there. Right through your eye. I'm sorry, little buddy. Still got my worm, though. Thank you. Still out there milling around. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe I'll get a chance to throw this one out. It took my worm though, there wasn't much on there. Some of them would jump out on you. Some of them are wild.
these lunker huts, you always want to make sure you ain't got no weeds in there or them legs ain't going to kick like they want, you know, they should. this video short uh, stay tuned for the next uh, it'll be in this video uh, we'll be catfishing using some of them bluegill bait hope you guys like what you see welcome back y'all like i promised uh, we're doing a little night catfishing sun's getting ready to go down here in a little bit it was, i was fishing at my dad's pond earlier uh, now we're fishing at the Christopher Lake and we're already getting a bite y'all. So let me go tighten up that left line real quick Hopefully we're gonna get some catfish on the line thought we had one there for a second. He may be still messing around, nibbling on it. Uh, I do want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Off Bug Spray. Uh, you can buy it at your local Walmart. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, my mom just gave me this. Thank you, Mama. Let me put some of it on real quick. He's still nibbling on it a little bit. Maybe a dang turtle. Still on there. I will be getting a uh, microphone here soon, guys. Uh, 
Sorry about it if you can't hear me right now. I will be getting one here soon, eventually, though. So we'll see how, uh, if I can find one that's cheap and uh, one that works good. Hear them bullfrogs. Sound like a big in there. I'm thinking about, I think I'm gonna re uh, throw this one back out over towards that stump a little bit more. See if we can get some uh, other kind of action. I'm gonna check this one here in a minute. So this has been about five or so minutes on that one. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. See how bad he tore her up or what? What's chewing on it? They still on there. this one now. Bait's still on there, I can tell you that much. Throw her in a different spot, see if we can't get anything. It's about the perfect time right now, guys. Last night I caught three of them. I wasn't out here at 30, 45 minutes just hanging out. Alright guys, uh, I'll uh, hit you back when we get a bite. Still nothing y'all, I'm going to call her tonight, go home and eat something. Uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow, I'll, make, I'll post this video tonight and I'll make another video tomorrow. I'm going to try to get 4 or 5 videos a week, probably even more. Please subscribe, please like, and please comment. See y'all later, down to earth outdoors.